three things about Jesus' humility. One, he did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped. That means he did not operate from a sense of his own superiority. Two, he was obedient, even to the point of death, which shows us he valued God over himself enough to give up his way for the way of the Lord, even to the loss of his own life. And thirdly, he didn't avoid obeying God even in humiliation, suffering a death, death of the cross, a crucifixion, a bloody, naked, suffocating, public humiliation. He did not seek to avoid humiliation. So I would suggest to you today that this is the way of the Lord. This is the way of humility. And we set ourselves above Christ when we operate from a sense of our own superiority. We set ourselves above Christ when we disobey God, put our way above His. And thirdly, we set ourselves higher than Christ when we operate or live in a way that tries or seeks to avoid humiliation, especially in obedience to God. So let's be those who see Christ in His humility, see Christ in His selflessness, and say, Holy Spirit, work that in me. That's genuine spirituality. This is where the true Christ-likeness comes out of our lives. In daily, moment-by-moment decisions of the loss of self, Paul actually says, have this mind in you. This mind in you. And it looks like this, doing nothing from selfishness or empty conceit. (laughs) It looks like this, doing all things without grumbling and complaining. It looks like this, regarding one another as more important than yourselves. It looks like this. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. That's what this kind of humility mind performs in the life. May the Holy Spirit do this in you. May the Holy Spirit do this in me. In Jesus' name. God bless you guys.